with another ninja here with two guys take on real estate where we're paying it forward so you don't have to make the same mistakes we've made over the years today we're going to talk about contractor and the three mistakes you're making right now with your contractors please stay to the end so you get all the tips so the first one we want to talk about is scope of work and setting expectations it's really really important right from the get-go you meet with your contractor, write up a full scope of work of everything that you expect from them and they expect from you and have that all drawn up in a contract. All too often I see people basically, you know, arguing back and forth about what was expected, what was not expected. If you have it written down and it's part of your contract, there's going to be no questions. It's just, you can go right back there and this way you don't get on the wrong, you know, you don't get off to the bad foot. Uh, or have an argument or anything like that. It's really important for you to take that time, write it all down. We like using Google uh, Docs. This way it's uh, easily shareable it's, uh, and you can you know, edit it and highlight it. And it's just simple for everyone to use and it's free, which is always a good thing. Uh, I would also really check into that. Uh, but yeah, really making sure you fully walk through with your contractor and explain what your expectations are, what you want done, and if there's any changes on the, uh, along the way, which happens, but you all get back together, do maybe a change order or something like that, so everyone's on the same page. It's really important. Uh, the other thing which kind of loves into that is communicating. Number two, communicating. Yes, you really need to communicate with your contractor on a regular basis. Even if, I know sometimes they're not always the easiest to reach, but text, email, you know, meeting up with them on the job sites, really important to make sure you guys are a constant flow of communication so that if issues do arise you can be on top of it you know whether it be oh i need that dumpster swap well you didn't tell me well you know having that open constant communication will help minimize that and any little um hiccups with the contractor so they're not feeling like you know they have to hold your hand or vice versa as well as it doesn't slow the project up i mean that's really 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 important having that constant communication with them. Uh, the third tip that I would suggest, which uh, is often that people aren't doing, is timely payments. Uh, not holding up their payments, not having it you know, take two, three weeks for them to get paid. They complete the work, you inspect the work, of course, make sure everything was done, and then you're paying them, ideally, you know, in a couple days or that day if possible. Uh, when you do that, you're gonna have contractors that quickly come back to you for, and ask if you have any more work. And that's key because finding good contractors is so hard in this business. It is, honestly, I mean, we have right now more projects we can handle because we can't find good contractors. We have a few good contractors and we try to treat them really well, make sure they're paid on time, make sure they have scopes of work, make sure they're, you know, you know, you know talk to you on a routine basis and make sure there's open dialogue so that we can, you know, address any issues right away. Uh, all these three things are happening on a routine basis. Unfortunately, we can't find, you know, more of these guys so we can do more projects. Because uh, honestly, that's the hardest thing to scale is finding good contractors that you can have this good open dialogue with and stuff that you can uh, move to the next level. So once again, I wanna talk about having a scope of work right from the get-go and having that uh, clear set expectations with the contractor. And then I would also make sure open, constant communication with your contractor, whether it be routine uh, visits to the job site with them, uh, texting, emails, you know, calls, whatever it might be. And then also paying them timely. I'm, I can't stress how much that will really change on A, getting good contractors and contractors that keep coming back to you and ask for you if you have more work. Keyword, you know, those are real top T's. So I hope this was really helpful. Please, um, you know, help us uh, spread the word, share this video, hit that like button, and also subscribe so we can bring more content to you guys. All right, thanks so much. Have a great day.